All right, so I am turning this TV and computer into a coffee table that you're going to be able to play arcade games, uh, but mostly pinball and your old vertical ones like uh, the 1940 series, uh, Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Galaga, Galaxian. So this TV was a freebie. It's only 720. I think it's 30, 32 inches, something like that, but it was a freebie. This computer was 100 bucks. This is an i5. It's an Optiplex 990. It's an i5, a little over 3 gigahertz uh, quad core, upgraded to 8 gigs of RAM running Windows 10. And by the way, this is our kid game room, playroom, slash workout, slash do our laundry. Uh, here's my other cabinet I built. So. Uh, I spent about two weeks, giving it maybe an hour a day or so, going through trying to figure out what I wanted to do with this. I've used Pinball X, I've used Retro or um, Atomic FE, I used a couple other things, and I finally decided on LaunchBox, and LaunchBox is running uh, RetroArch for most of my programs. It's running MAME UI64 for the arcade stuff. I don't have any motion capture software, so bear with me. Um, I made a couple of categories on the left. I've got one for all the arcade games, and this is a collection of only vertical shooters, or excuse me, vertical games, um, but a lot of them are shooters. And then I made one for just the shooters and one for just the classics. If somebody sits down and they're looking for Donkey Kong, they don't want to go through, you know, 200 games to find that. Uh, pinball, I'm running FX2, FX3, and Pinball Arcade. I found that Pinball FX2 runs way cleaner than FX3, but that's, that's something you can get into. Um, just for kicks, because again, I've got other stuff in here to play on, but if somebody sits down at this and they're like, oh, do you have Batman? Uh, do you have Mario? Do you have Pac-Man or whatever? They're going to want to, you know, play what they played. So you've got Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, um, Genesis. I do have N64 and PlayStation on here, although I don't think it's going to get a lot of use. It's kind of just to show it off uh, because I am only going to have one setup for one player with a joystick and six buttons. I don't want to do more than that. Um, you can always plug in a controller if you really wanted to, but I have other machines in this basement that'll do the job better. Um, this will do GameCube, it will do Dreamcast, uh, but I also didn't want to muddy up the the menu too much. And there are a couple of PlayStation and N64 games. Uh, there are some simple games and some fighting games you could do with a joystick and buttons. So I did a lot of custom and when I say custom, I mean making mistakes, figuring it out <laughs> as I went through. So I have LaunchBox in my root directory, and I dump most of my games into the ROM folder here that I created. Um, do I have anything under games? I don't think there's anything actually under games. Uh, under themes and videos, I put a lot of stuff, um, combined a couple things from, from other places. Under emulators, this is where I have MAME UI 64 and RetroArch. These live in uh, the launch box folder. They don't live elsewhere uh, on the computer. So if I want to copy this to another computer, it's easier because everything is self-contained. Also, there are some BIOS files you're going to want to load in for PlayStation if that's something that you want to work with. So to turn the TV, I was working on a lot of different programs. Um, and I rotate seems to be the one that was the easiest for me to use because when I'm working with it, control alt and up or left or right or whatever. And it's easy for me to rotate the screen from working on it like this versus going to the vertical mode and trying things out. Uh, I also have joy to key. So joy to key is something I'm going to be using when I hook up my buttons later on. I've already tested this. I just haven't done a full shakedown. Um, you can 
tell the joystick that, that all these buttons are really coming from the keyboard instead of the joystick, because I found some compatibility issues, especially with the pinball games. So let's go ahead and put this into Portrait. We're going to load Big Box in Portrait. I flipped this video, but then you get it with bars vertically, and that kind of drives me crazy. If anybody knows how to fix it, let me know. So I know it doesn't look great stretched, but it's fine. There you go. Here's all the arcade stuff. And then you get your artwork and you got your wheel and all that nice stuff. Here's your pinball stuff. Here, I made a little PNG for shooters and threw in a 19XX or a 1945 or whatever it is video for the vertical shooters. Here's those classics when everybody's looking for Dig Dug and Pac-Man. I took a lot of these videos from the cinematics theme on Big Box. Most of these don't have videos, but some of them do. So I apologize for the cell phone video sitting on a, you know, bookcase to get this. Uh, but this is shortly going to become a pinball table. Well, pinball, video game, coffee table, whatever. So if you are interested, if you have any questions about what I've shown already and what I've set up, please let me know. I did a lot of trial and error to figure it out, but I got it there. Uh, I'm going to actually start building the table soon. Thanks for watching.